Hello, and welcome to this Looker guide where we'll dive into the world of parameters in filter-only fields. Whether you're a data analyst, a business intelligence professional, or just curious about data visualization, you're in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand what parameters and filter-only fields are, how they differ, and how to effectively use them in your Looker reports and dashboards. To follow along, you'll need a basic understanding of Looker's interface and a basic SQL knowledge. For this tutorial, let's start by defining our date range parameter. First, we'll go to our order items view. We'll declare it as a string, and for the sake of this tutorial, we'll only allow three values, but feel free to add more if you want. This parameter will ensure that the users can only select allowed values. After defining our date range parameter, we need to integrate it into our data model. We do this by creating a new dimension, date filtered, which uses a case statement to apply the parameter's value to our created add field. This setup enables our date range parameter to dynamically filter the created at dates based on the user selection. Whether they choose last week, last month, or last quarter, the report will automatically adjust to display only the data from that period. In your reports, when you select a date range using our date range parameter, the filter date dimension ensures that only the data matching your selected time frame is displayed. It's a seamless way to make your reports more interactive and user driven. Now let's quickly look at the data. In our Order Items Explorer, let's select our date range filter only field, the status, and the order ID. This will show us interesting results, but we can't be too sure that we are getting the expected behavior. We'll need to add the created date into the mix to see if our results are in fact in the desired date range. As we can see, we are not quite there yet. That's because although we are selecting our desired date range, the data is not being filtered. So let's go back to our model and expose our date filter dimension. We can easily do that by changing hidden from yes to no. After that, let's go back to the explore page. Situations may arise quite often where you'll prefer to hide several dimensions from the end user. In this example, we were hiding the date filter dimension to avoid confusion with the created add dates. Now we'll refresh the page and select the date filter dimension to see what the actual results are. So let's select the date filter and then the created date, run. And as we can see, our dimension did return the correct results based on the selected date range. But to make this useful, we'll add a filter for the date filter dimension where the values are not null. This will ensure that we only get values inside the selected date range. We could also add an always filter in our model to avoid doing this step, but for now, let's keep it simple. And as we can see, every value is now from the correct date range. Next up, filter only fields. These are fields in Looker that you create specifically for filtering data. They don't appear in the data table, but are used to apply filters to your reports. Let's create a filter only field. Suppose we want to filter our order items data based on the status. We'll create a filter only field named status filter. Here's how we add this to our LookML model. Remember to hide the data you don't want users to see. For this example, we'll hide the status dimension since we'll be using the status filter. Now, let's see how to apply our filter only field in a report. We'll create a custom filter condition in our LookML model. Here, we've defined a status filter. This filter applies to our hidden status field. In Looker, the condition and end condition syntax allows us to use the filter in our queries. When a user selects a status in the filter, it dynamically adjusts the query to include only order items with that status, even though status isn't visible in the report. In a report, this setup lets users filter order items by status through a dropdown or input field, refining their view without cluttering the report with additional columns. This approach is key for creating streamlined user-focused reports. Like in this example, the status field now only works if you use a filter on it and the filter is expecting a value. But just like the previous example, we could restrict it to only allowed values that we provide. Let's combine what we've learned. We'll create a dashboard where users can select the date range using our parameter and filter data based on status using our filter only field. We'll give it a bar chart visualization and save it as a dashboard. And now with the finished dashboard, we can see more clearly why parameters and filter only fields are so important. Without additional clutter, we can easily find the data that we are looking for just by changing a single value. To sum up, 
parameters and filter-only fields are powerful tools in Looker that help make reports more interactive and user-friendly. Remember, parameters are like variables, while filter-only fields are used solely for filtering data. If you need help managing your Looker instance, look no further. We are a full-service Looker consulting firm. We partner with Looker to help businesses maximize their analytics capabilities. We would be happy to meet with you to discuss your current Looker objectives and help you implement them. You can use the link below to connect with us. Until next time.